Court is now back in session. Right! We're fine! Ahem. <laughs> <coughs> I'd like to say to the young lady standing next to you, Mr. Justice. <laughs> oh, you mean me? Don't you have anything to report? Anything concerning the mysterious phantom and the silk top hat? Uh, Not right! Really. Him! Uh, don't worry about him! I settled that! I kicked his ass. You settled that? Yeah, I killed that guy. I mean, fuck, shit, got me again, me. <laughs> uh, yes, it was a out of court settlement. Right. Perhaps Fräulein would have us believe it was nothing more than a passing dream. A fantastic illusion. Now you see it, now you don't. Am I right? <laughs> I think he's on to me. I wish he would stop being so... so cool. God, he's so cool. Let us dispense with these niceties and get straight to the matter. What are your plans for our gifted witness? R right. The defense would like to request another cross-examination. But... because... because I forgot to ask something. There was no issue with the witness's previous testimony. I will grant your request, however. But this court will not permit stalling for time. Uh, understood. Well, bad right. news. That's absolutely what I plan on doing. <laughs> Don't forget, Apollo. When he isn't sure about something, he has a habit of fiddling with his book. He's doing it right now. We got him, Trucy. Damn it. Not friend from leaving the scene. Nor can I simply leave the scene good conscious. Okay. Wait, is he not sure that he used his cell phone to check with the police? Well, is that fiddling or is that just... It's the only one he touched it, so... Really? I'm not sure I'm qualified to watch testimonies after all. Focus, Apollo. Find his weak spot. You play Shadow of the Colossus, right? <laughs> Focus. Uh, if only it were that easy. My ears hear what he says. My eyes see his expression. Do I have to do something more? What other, what other senses do I have? I think I want to taste you have to. Guy. You have to lick him. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't let me Correct. smell him. What's this? Uh, I'm having a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> I smell burnt toast. <laughs> My bracelet. Wait a minute. Am I I'm not wearing a bracelet. Note? What's going on? <laughs> My bracelet feels different somehow. I think Daddy was right. Do we know how he got this bracelet yet? I was literally just going to ask okay. that. This is just like thing. We do that not he know. We do. Have. We do know. We do know. We do find out eventually. Okay. 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 I wasn't sure. Good. We don't know right now, though. Okay. Cool. No, we do not know where he got the bracelet from. Cool. <laughs> you can see it, can't you, Apollo? You're almost there. Find the weak spot in his testimony. I know this sounds crazy, but my bracelet is trying to tell me something. What do you need? What? Wait, is, does he have Siri too on his phone? Or on his wrist? Siri, ask my bracelet what it needs from me. Are you fucking see It doesn't, it didn't even do anything. Wow. This, this fucking when, wristwatch. When you when you don't need it we'll to do go something, off at that's the what it gets off. I'm so mad. <laughs> All right. uh, can't prevent the killer. Simply leave the scene. Gotta go. I use my cell phone to call the police. So how do I... Oh, God! That scared the fuck out of me. 
<laughs> what is, Chelsea asks about being thankful. What? It's playing Chelsea? some YouTube video. Oh, yeah, about being thankful. God, that scared the fuck out of me. Because it wasn't Siri's voice. It was like a, a full-grown woman's voice. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, I really can't wait to look at my reaction to that. That was really funny. Um, okay, how do we... Do I press and then does it get me a thing? No, keep, keep, keep going. I keep... Just go through the thing? Yeah, just keep going. Okay. Oh, you might have to... Pr yeah, press a statement. Okay. Don't forget how you have to perceive the truth. I have one... Uh, perceive one thing. My priest is reacting to his testimony. This has to be the key! I thought... I thought... The but There's a button that will appear. Yeah, that's, I thought that's what I feel like I've appeared. recognized. Uh, press. So... You called immediately after witnessing the murder. The police undoubtedly have a record of the call. Why not check with them? Wait, Apollo. This has to be it. Wait, you mean his habit? Okay, we literally, this I, I can't oh, be bothered. We just did this. It's me again. This was like five seconds ago. Hey, Tracy. The only time he had his book open was here. Which means this is the place to look for his habit. I don't know how I know, but I know. Know what? It's my bracelet. It's different somehow. I can feel it reacting to something about the witness. Okay, there it is. Yeah. Your bracelet? Not sure I get this focus stuff you were talking about, Trucy. But I have a feeling that th that trusting my bracelet is the way to go. Okay, I just need to touch my bracelet as it reacts to the testimony. Whoa! Whoa. What's going on? I can see the witness's face, his expression so clearly. Ugh. It, it's filling my mind! I can see nothing else! Here, nothing else! Apollo? Oh God, Did the you? Edibles I can't! Hit. I can't! Did you take some of the white powder from Daddy? <laughs> Trucy! I can't hear you! What's happening to me? This is what I mean by focusing. Using focusing. cocaine. <laughs> focusing. Focusing? In this state, you can see everything, Apollo. Everything the witness draws. No. <laughs> I'm far. <laughs> That's I'm great. Tongue, baby. <laughs> That's great, but this is kind of freaking me out. Just look for <laughs> Mr. Stickler's Twitch. You can find him at twitch.tv slash. You remember it? Sure, when he says something he's not sure of, he fiddles with a page in his book. He diddles you and got, fiddles. <laughs> you got it. I'm done doing the you're on drugs joke now, so I'm just gonna go back to talking like normal. Thank you. <laughs> Right now, you're looking at the witness's face. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Isn't it awful? And your eyes are sort of bugging out. Okay, this is cocaine. <laughs> I'll bet they are. I'll bet this is cocaine. <laughs> first, move your hand... First, move your focus of attention down to Mr. Stickler's hand. His hand? Okay, this is killing me now. You know what you have to you know what you have to look for now, but you have to be looking at the right place. She's right. I can only see his face like this. Time to try changing my viewpoint. We can Oh. Uh Yeah, I should have hate that. I hate this. Uh please. 
This is visually very unpleasant, I can just, actually. I can just move it with the power. Uh, with the wazd? Yeah. Uh, what? I guess that will work, but that's... Oh, oh, it's this hand. Okay. Perfect. Now you're really ready. Ready for what? Ready to perceive the truth behind the Twitch. No, Trucy, we're on YouTube tonight. Perceive? Try listening to the witness. Try listening to the witness talk as you focus. Then watch for his habit. Right. You mean when he fiddles with the page? That's right. That's your signal to look closer. Okay, I, I, I now hate the word perceive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never want to hear the word perceive ever again. <laughs> Find his weak spot, and I guarantee we'll be able to give him the royal flush. Spoken like a true pokerhead's daughter. I'm a magician, thank you very much. So I have to pay attention to his words and his fingers. <laughs> Don't worry. If you miss, you can always try again. Okay, come on, just get us Right! Look out, nervous Twitch! Here comes justice! Ergo... I, I used, used my cell phone. My cell phone. I'm guessing... Well, did he not use the cell phone, or did he not call the police, is what we're gonna... It's probably he didn't have his phone with him. Yeah. Oh, that's his phone. Yep. Wait, I have a problem with you using the word ergo, actually. It, it defends That's me That's not your word. <laughs> Confirm. Gotcha! 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 Wait, so is this a consistent mechanic in the game? Yes. Yes. I fucking hate that. I... Aw, oh, it's fun. Wait till, wait till we're I using it I... and it's not being over-tutorialized. I want to hate the visuals. The visuals are rough. I will give you that. I think one. they are... Kind of fucking annoying. It's a lot. It's a lot. It 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 definitely could be a bigger area of focus. They could have, yeah, could have smoothed that out. I, I saw it just now. I could see it, Mister Justice. Do you have something to say? You haven't said anything for like three minutes. <laughs> All this banging of desks. It's quite bad for my circulation, you know. Mr. Stickler, allow me to ask you a simple question. Why did you fiddle with the page of your book just now? The very moment you mentioned your cell phone! What are you talking about? I'm curious now about this cell phone of yours. Mind if I ask a few questions? Hmm. What to ask? What to ask? Ask for his number. Hey, what's... Can I get your number? Yo, can I get can your I number? Can I have it? I mean, technically, if we did ask for the number, we could also just call it and be like, oh, it's in our possession. But I imagine we need to see his phone. I would just say ask to see it, yeah. Really quick, just in case there's a funny joke here. I'm gonna yes, ask his number. number. Hey, can I have your number? Mr. Stick, tell me your phone number! Uh, what? Whatever for? Why not? You have something against making friends? <laughs> Please what be my this... friend, Mr. Stickler. <laughs> what does this witness's cell phone number have to do with the case? Absolutely nothing! This is a, an invasion huh. of my privacy! Thing. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing! Say it again! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hmm. Seeing you grimace like that makes me wonder about your cell phone, too. The witness will present his cell phone number to the court. Trucy, do you have your cell phone? Sure do. Oh, this actually was the right one, because if he said, can we see, he'd just say he didn't have it. Try dialing the number that he gives us. 
You want me to call Mr. Stickler's phone? Ooh, then he's going to have my number. <laughs> right, I'll st star 69 him. <laughs> I love that this is actually the right answer, holy shit. Oh, all the options work here? Oh, okay. This is all highly irregular. <laughs> hey! My pocket's ringing! Wait, this is the phone from yesterday. Whoa. Look! A cell phone! Yeah, yeah, it's a fucking flashback. Come on, we. Oh, I want to drop this in the title. Oh, wow. it belongs to the doctor. How strange, Mr. Stickler. Can you explain why your cell phone is sitting here in my assistant's hand? Wait a minute. What is the meaning of this? This cell phone was found yesterday in the Maractus Clinic garage. The Maractus? Why, that's where the victim lived. <laughs> that's impossible! Looks like he's casting spells and shit. Shadow <laughs> Wizard Money Gang, where you at? Mr. Stickler, you lied to the court, didn't you? If your cell phone is here, how could you have called the police? <laughs> There's a K at the end of that, which is odd. <laughs> it, it's true. I didn't have my cell phone that night. That is why it can be said that I called the police from a public payphone. A payphone? Like a poor person? <laughs> Ew, gross. They don't even have those anymore in 2026. <laughs> So you didn't call on your cell phone after all. Just where was this payphone? Just where was this payphone located, Mr. Stickler? Well, to indicate it with a startlingly high degree of accuracy, it was right around here. Oh, so right across the street from Mr. Wright's office. That's quite a ways from the park. No, it's not really. <laughs> but, but why did you lie? There can only be one reason. He didn't want the court to know he had lost his cell phone. Because it was found in the victim's garage. What are you saying? Mr. Stickler, you broke into the Maractus Clinic garage on the night of the murder. This cell phone tells all. Oh, shit. B but that's ridiculous! Uh, that makes it sound like... Like I snuck into this fellow's garage to commit some crime! As though I were trying to kill him! Gotcha. Well, Dr. Maractus was killed that night. <laughs> well, were you trying to kill him? B well, yes, but no! This line of reasoning has to be against the rules. Yes, it's true, I lost my cell phone. But you can't prove that I lost it that night! Hmm. Well, Mr. Justice, if that cell phone was dropped the night of the murder, it does raise considerable suspicions as to a connection with the crime. Now's your chance, Apollo. Connect Mr. Stickler to the crime. Oh, he's already connected enough. I just have to prove it. Well, do I have a piece of evidence that can do the job? Can I prove the cell phone was dropped on the night of the murder? Uh... I mean... Technically, it was beneath the car, so if the car ever moved, it would have crushed it? I don't know if that's what they want us to think, though. And the car, oh, and we know the car was driven earlier. Yeah, the that car night had the car was driven because so... it killed Phoenix. <laughs> 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 I guess. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah, I would say I would say that tracks. Of course I have evidence. Ooh, I like your swagger, Hell Forehead. Hit it! The court will see this evidence, Mr. Justice. Hit it, as they say. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the gritty. <laughs> The evidence that proves the cell phone was dropped on the night of the murder is... It's either the the window or the cell phone itself. Yeah. I feel like it would be the phone because it was dropped beneath the car. We'll see. Yep. Okay, nice. Hmm. Well, Prosecutor Gavin? No comment there, Judge. Maybe not. Motherfucker! No you, stopped dice, you stopped the music! You stopped the music! Video game! You punked me! <laughs> Alright, it's the review mirror. Apollo, remember where we found that cell phone? Yeah, that's why I presented it, Trucy! Okay, I don't need to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Fall on the ground, strands, it's under the car, would have been crushed. This is exactly my point of reasoning, video game. Your Honor, one more chance, please! Mr. Justice, keep this up and you'll run yourself out of a life's worth of chances. Okay. Cell phone was dropped the night of the murder is the car. That's a side view mirror? Let's see the video the music keeps playing though. It gets me. As it so happens, Dr. Maractus's car was in an accident that took place on the night of the murder. An accident. An accident. An accident. An accident. An accident. An accident. It happened a little after 9 p.m., just outside People Park, our murder scene. Dr. Marex's car hit a pedestrian. What are you trying to say? the absence of a mirror, it's clear that the car was parked after the accident. Which means it was parked there after 9pm on the night of the murder. If your cell phone had been dropped before the car was parked in that garage, then it would have been crushed. After all, it was lying on the ground right under the wheel. <laughs> Ergo, Mr. Stickler fucking got his ass. The <laughs> only time you could have dropped this in that garage was after 9 p.m. the night of the murder in the park. <laughs> Mr. Stickler, you know what that means? You did break into the victim's garage that night. This is most unexpected. Mr. Justice, are you naming the witness as a suspect in the murder of Paul Maractus? A pal Maractus? <laughs> Paul, he's become Paul. <laughs> no, stop! This is too much. This can't be happening. <laughs> Prosecutor, say something. Oh, he's filling up his pages. That means he's nervous. <laughs> 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 we got his ass pretty. I know. Yeah, I know I that now. I figured it out. I win. Well, I suppose it is worth saying this. No connection has been found between Wesley Stickler and pa Pal Maractus. Paul again. I want to say Paul Maractus <laughs> really bad. This is that is other than this. I believe our next testimony will be most revelatory. Ooh, nice word. Is the witness prepared? <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I know that face. That's the face of guilt. I got this son of a bitch. Objection. Stickler's true. <laughs> yeah, speak your truth, Stickler. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> All right, let's hear this truth. That night, yes, I went to the supermarket. I must have dropped my cell phone on my way back. 
and when I was walking through the park, I happened to witness the crime. I saw the killer, the victim, the stand, all as clear as day. It was him. I saw the defendant at the scene. Yes, but your cell phone was lying in a garage. Uh, yes, well, as you can see, my model of cell phone has a defect. It sprang, it springs legs and walks off. <laughs> it is given to rolling. Oh my god. What? This is, this is the worst. That's nothing. It's quite a pain when I drop it alongside the road, you know. <laughs> Looks like a normal cell phone to me. <laughs> In any case, Mr. Justice, the cross-examination, please. We're just going to let that pass? Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's funny. My bracelet didn't react at all during that testimony. His nervous habit must not be acting up. Ah, oh, he's not nervous right now. <laughs> we just accused I him of murder, though. I don't sense anything either, actually. Looks like you're on your own this time around. Right. No problem. I hope. Here comes justice! Alright. That's what Apollo says during Coitus, too. God damn it. Yeah, it's when, when Apollo's singing <laughs> the Cumin song. Uh, went to the supermarket. Must have dropped my phone on my way back. When I was walking through the park, I happened to witness the crime. I saw the killer of the victim stand all its clothes day. Um. Let's. I don't know. I kind of want to ask about his whole thing because I, I don't know. It seems. The whole thing seems weird to me. He's making up a lie just to cover this whole thing. So you went shopping? Which means you were holding a grocery bag when you witnessed the murder taking place? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, Any opportunity to use the tin uh, 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 That was really good. <laughs> well, yes, of course. Incidentally, the prosecution has received no report of this domestic detail. Mm -hmm. Mr. Stickler, can you explain yourself? No! I, I mean, yes! I did go shopping, really! I walked around the supermarket trying out the free samples. Oh, you are poor. Okay, shit. Yeah, that's strong, <laughs> strong student energy. Yeah, he is a college yeah. student, so that does kind of track. Yeah, he's on a student budget. It's a deeply spiritual <laughs> time for me. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> it's when I feel it. Peace with the universe <laughs> when I'm trying little wieners on sticks. <laughs> I'm sure the store clerks would disagree. <laughs> you think? This is you an think incredible. Sampling line. Free food, think sampling free food counts as a religion? <laughs> yes, actually, I'm sure in some <laughs> in some states, yes. <laughs> In any case, that night... I wonder if we can make that a religion and get uh, tax exempt. <laughs> you can marry somebody under the Trying Free Foods Church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a bad church. I, hear to, I hereby marry you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Little Weenies. <laughs> and free samples. Yo, Gumshoe, Gumshoe's gonna be the first convert. Yeah, 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 he's all, he's all about he's that. The he's the patron saint of yeah. the weenie church. <laughs> he is both poor and likes weenies. <laughs> <laughs> Slothy said weenism. I'm sorry. I sampled to my heart's content and was on my way back home. Yes. Okay. I was 
kind of hoping we get something more there. I'll keep pressing that. That's when you passed in front of the Maractus Clinic! Why, yes, that's correct. <laughs> yes, yes it was. That was, a that was a pretty suspicious pause there. Mr. Stickler, do you think you could be a bit more specific? Please show us the exact route you took on the night of the murder. Uh, of course. The, the supermarket is here along the main road. Of course, this was important for us. My way home from there takes me past the Maractus Clinic. This is probably when I drop my cell phone. Yet, woe is I, I walked on, unaware of my laws. And walked right into that fateful park. Sure if that conflicted with the image we had earlier, but uh, witness the crime. Which entrance did you enter the park from? He's gonna say the east one. Well, to be exact, one might say that I went in from the entrance closest to the Maractus Clinic. The same entrance our victim used. Wait a minute, if he ran out, the killer ran out the other way, he wouldn't be running towards. All right, so he's already fucked himself. But I don't know how we proved it. <laughs> Did you notice anything when you entered? Wheel marks from a noodle stand, for instance? I have no recollection of such a thing, no. Yet, though I might have missed the tracks, I could not miss what happened next. I am a keen observer of the obvious, you might say. Hmm... Just, uh, we'll press this final statement and figure out how this break is. This part of the testimony is the key! I know it! Should I press him about the killer, the victim, or the noodle stand? The noodle stand! I mean, I don't know if that's the answer, but... Sure, we can ask him about the noodle stand. Do you happen to remember the noodle stand? Quite well, yes. For a student of the sciences, keen observation and healthy curiosity are vital. I remember everything. I could even read the sign. I believe it said, Air... Noodle! <laughs> oh, er, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that was it. Air, air Noodle is Jordan's new uh, ramen brand. <laughs> It's the who ramen line. Air noodle. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at the noodle stand again. Does it say El Dune or does it say noodle on it? Oh, you're right. Also, look at it. Look at it from this tiny picture. It just looks like it says Lou. <laughs> Lou. Uh, I think it does say oh, El Dune. It says now. Look at the other side. But if it was the, does it, it does say noodle? say noodle. But if it, it says say noodle, noodle on the other side, okay. he came from the other direction. So he was looking at it from that mm -hmm. way. Okay. Oh, but that would mean he came in that... from the other entrance. Yes. Wait, where was he shot again? In the right or the left temple? Uh, I think it's right temple. If it was the right, then yeah, because yeah. the right now he's. Because now he has to turn left. Uh -huh, and if he was facing him. that way, good point. Good he point. would, he would get shot in the left temple okay. instead. Let's just figure out how to fucking pin in this on him then. For remembering something quite well, it sure took a while. Took you a while to tell us. <laughs> and thank you for telling us that a noodle <laughs> stand sells noodles. Very enlightening. Only when the judge gets snarky, it's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mr. Justice. What about that sign? Could that be important? It's very important. So the sign on the noodle stand said, Noodle? It appears <laughs> the defense has just obtained a vital piece of testimony. 
Is this Noodle Stand's broth really that delicious? I'll have to go sample the wares one of these days. God, now I'm just imagining the judge outside of his robes, and I cannot physically envision it. Wait, For some this, reason... Wh why is that made... Because the idea that... that he would go outside and, like, go to, like, a park, like... Yeah, we've made, like, eight million jokes about things he does outside of the courtroom. I know, but this one just really got me, Pridge, for some reason. <laughs> All right. It just okay. made me I'm just envision imagining him, him in... In like a Hawaiian shirt and flip flops and like that some board shorts. That absolutely would be what he would wear. Yes, uh, uh, Crocs maybe Crocs. Yeah. Or, or so. Crocs. Oh, he'd be wearing New Balance, like absolute dad shoes, New Balances. Yeah. I think that's worth adding to the testimony as well. Hmm. Whatever sort of noodles that stand sells, it can't match up to the IVU's cafeteria. I find that so hard to believe. <laughs> Some apply to the school merely for a taste of our smart noodles. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a taste of that myself. What are you talking about, Apollo? <laughs> Have you eaten? Is anybody now, in this game uh, eating ever? Are they, are, they, are they noodles that make you smart? Are they noodles made by smart people for smart people? Or are they noodles that have like a little touch screen on it that can connect to Wi-Fi? <laughs> <laughs> They're Bluetooth enabled. <laughs> They're Bluetooth nudes. Oh, God. Uh, all right. Got your ass. Yeah, got him. And you're absolutely sure that the sign read... Noodle? Why, just last week, my professor offered me this praise. At least you have good eyesight, Stickler. <laughs> I'll give you that. <laughs> Damn. I love the idea that this kid knows fucking nothing. It's so yeah, stupid, but he has this persona. Uh, hilarious. It read, without a doubt, Noodle. I see. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is that pity I see in your eyes? Let's take a look at our map, shall we? So you're claiming that when you saw the sign and you opened up your eyes, you saw the sign, you were standing... Here, was it? So that would have been a bit hard to read the sign from this spot. Y you think so? Mr. Stickler, I'd like you to please take another look at the stand. Yeah, if you want me to do it. Take a look at this stand! <laughs> Carefully read what the sign says. See? The sign actually states the name of the stand's owner. Eldoons. Uh, oh, Eld... Inconceivable! I'm certain it was definitely Noodle, for sure. Positive. I'm afraid your professor was wrong about that eyesight. I wouldn't be so quick to jump to that conclusion. The sign he saw changes everything. The witness says the sign said Noodle, and he saw it right. What would you say if I told you that there is one spot from which the sign would read the way Mr. Stickler claims? What? If you read it upside down, like the numbers 11037. God damn it. Mr. Justice, show us this spot. Show us this, Leon! <laughs> the witness actually viewed the stand from this location. I'm hoping it just is uh, anywhere that's like in this area. Anywhere general over there. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the witness was standing here on the opposite okay. side! Thank goodness. How do you know that? Because it's. <laughs> I was trying to make a joke of, like, when you read it from the other side, it's backwards, but that kind of is literally what it is. <laughs> when viewed from the south, the sign of the stand reads Eldoons, as we know. However... 
Whoa. Observe the other side of the stand. Oh, you can look at things in three dimensions? I know, isn't the future great? <laughs> this side says... New... Judge, judge, it says, it says new. Noodle! <laughs> exactly! The name of the stand is split between the front and the back sides. Mr. Stickler! You lied to the court! You witnessed the crime from the northern side of the park, not the south! You! You got me! So what? So what? What does it matter if he saw the killing from the north or the south side? It makes no difference at all. He's right. Travel far enough to the south and you will end up going north. Okay, well that's not really relevant to this point of the... Viewed on a global scale, directions are utterly without meaning. Okay. Actually, maybe he's right. What does it change? Apollo, come on. What? <laughs> Apollo. It changes everything, Apollo! Juicy? Remember his testimony from before. Though to be honest, I'm a little scared of where this is leading. All 3D models, let's Whoa. go! Whoa. The killer and the victim are facing each other here. Then, at the moment the killer raised his weapon, Mr. Stickler shouts... I love that pose, it's very funny to me for some reason. He <laughs> shouts, shouts, <laughs> lets he, it, he lets all it all out. out. <laughs> These are the... I don't know actually what things we comes can do without. without. These are things yeah. we can do without. Go Come on! on. <laughs> At which point, the victim turns his ha I'm in a very musical mood today. I think I'm in like four song references Yeah, you're crushing it. I love it. It's karaoke stream, man. At, at which Let point, Bridge the victim sing. turns his head to look. And the killer fires his pistol. Also, this is a dumb thing, but I love that there is no features, discernible features on any of them, but they all do have triangular noses. <laughs> Which is just to let you know where they're facing. I get that, but it is just very funny to me. <laughs> they're all part of the white man group. Oh, he shot! He shot an arrow, a thumbnail arrow at him. <laughs> That's why the bullet hit him in the right temple. No contradictions, right? Right. But if Mr. Stickler was standing on the north side of the park. That reverses the whole scenario. That changes everything. <laughs> that yeah. explains everything. Completely. If Mr. Stickler shouts from where he is now, and his victim looks in that in his direction. Then that means Galactic Amaru is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> the bullet would have hit, would have, would have, <laughs> the bullet would have to hit his left temple. I already know some people in our chat get the, the Galactic Amaru reference, but if you're watching this in the YouTube video, please pop off in the comments if you know what, the, what that reference is. Because <laughs> I feel like it's got to be a small amount, but not zero. <laughs> really, really weird niche two episode YouTube. Flash, dick. flash movie. Yeah, uh, so yeah. Ah. Ah. In other words, someone standing at point K couldn't shoot his victim in the right temple. It's impossible. That's right! 
So, now that we know that Mr. Stickler was standing on his- on the northern side... The wound location takes an entirely different meaning. Indeed. You are absolutely correct, Fraulein. What meaning? The entry wound was on the right side of the victim's head, correct? Well, the right side of the victim's head is north. Yeah, Trucy is way better at Apollo than any of this. Yeah, she's like, yeah, it's it's pretty impressive that she's like getting Kinda this. doing it all. Yeah, like <laughs> she's mental mathing this entire thing. Yeah. Trucy's, Trucy's a smart little cookie. Mm-hmm. North. Ah! But that's where the witness, Wesley Stickler, was standing. Correct. So if he was standing to the north, then the only person here who could have shot the victim in the right temple was Mr. Stickler himself. <laughs> Wildly, I didn't even think about accusing him as a murder victim, because look at this sad boy. <laughs> Order! Wait, Order! I mean, you, you said victim instead of... <laughs> yeah, I meant murder. This man is definitely a victim. Of what? I don't know. Of, of college life. tuition. Most likely high college tuition prices. <laughs> he's, a, he's a victim of student, student loans. loans. Yeah, student loans. <laughs> Aren't we all... Where's my student Order. Loan forgiveness, Biden? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, Sleepy thanks, Obama. Joe. Sleepy Joe. Order. 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 Oh, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Okay, yeah, he admits it too. She's flipped this whole case on its head while I was still figuring it out. Clarify one point for me, if you would, Herr Forehead. What now? Who, me? But she's the one she's who doing everything. did all the work. Yeah, ask her to do it. Address, she has address got all your questions to my on, assistant. Under wraps. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Are you truly accusing this college student of murder? Well, I can't say he exactly looks innocent, but something still doesn't feel right. I can't just picture him as the real killer. No, please. Look aside. I'm really a nice guy. No. Oh, no. I mean, he listen, I did say he looks nice stupid, guy. but... Oh, no, no, no. No, he's not a nice guy. All my friends say so. Yeah, all two of them. What friends? God, Let's hear what the defense has to say. What are you going to do now, Justice? Should I really accuse Mr. Stickler? Accuse of another crime. <laughs> do it! I mean, that might be correct. I think it is actually correct. Um, yeah, I think he's re he's responsible for. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he's, he's a, a murderer, but well, I actually do. He like, is a is, crime is, against nature. Is, is he like like is he the panty thief yeah, or is, like, I is say, it didn't occur to me until this moment, but I think he is our maybe. Baby. Yeah, is he the panty thief oh, or the you know noodles what? or the cart stealer or something? And guess where we found these in the trash can on the north side of the park. Uh oh. He saw the murder and dropped these in the fucking trash. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't think Wesley Stickler is a killer, but he's not innocent either. Some usual silence tells me that much. Mr. Stickler, you seem unusually quiet. Tell us why, now! Ooh. The word confession isn't in my dictionary. You should probably get a yeah, better what? dictionary. Yeah, that's a pretty bad, shitty dictionary then, bro. <laughs> bro. Yeah, for it. I'm afraid it falls to you to elucidate Herr Stickler's silence. Mr. Justice, you did say you were accusing the witness just now. For a crime other than murder? Your reason? The court's all ears. Uh, 
know he's guilty of something. What crime other than murder is there? <laughs> there aren't any other crimes. <laughs> I know what he means, like, in this situation where other crimes were committed, but the statement... <laughs> you commit murder. What other crimes even exist? Oh there aren't pretty, other crimes. What, 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 do, what do people do if they're not killing people? <laughs> it's murder or nothing. Everyone knows that. Yeah, since if he's if he really is a panty thief, then it really is murder or bust for him. Lol. Do I have <laughs> evidence that shows his involvement in some other crime? Your evidence courts all eyes, Mr. Justice. I thought you said you were all ears. Right. Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> That's I a contradiction. Cannot wait for the jokes they're gonna make here. <laughs> Judge, look at these bloomers! <laughs> Something tells me this isn't one of those good silences. <laughs> Something else to say, Mr. Justice? Um, one more oh, chance? That wasn't it. Please? Oh, for real? By all means. But your effort wasn't wasted. Look, a brand new penalty. Damn it. Now please reveal your thoughts to the court. Uh, I know he's guilty of something, but what crime? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. Is it Trucy's panties? Keep getting, yeah, okay. It's gotta be these panties. I'm so yep. cheese, dude. That's horseshit. <laughs> I'm sorry, video game. You they've already shown that they can program A or B to be the truth, and that sucks. <laughs> the evidence is this. What? Is that women's underwear? <laughs> God damn it. Hey! Uh, those are mine. <laughs> oh. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't look at me like that! Too late, bro. Order! 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 Yeah. Mr. Stickler. While I can't say this comes as a shock. It's not what it seems. But Pythagoras theorem. That's really something. funny. Holy shit. I Night swear murder, it. Just past 9 p.m., a young girl catches a panty snatcher red-handed. Bravely, she gives chase, <laughs> but the snatcher flees and hides himself <laughs> in no other place than the Maractus Clinic garage. Aha! Incidentally... <laughs> These panties were found in the exhaust pipe of the car there. Presumably, he was trying to hide the evidence of his crime. Ergo... <laughs> While you may not be a murderer, you are guilty of panty snatching in the first degree! <laughs> wow, that's incredible. This is what Ace Attorney's become. What a sentence. Please hear me out! It's not what it looks like! Order! 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 Oh, Kill this man! Apparently the chat saying he said Pythagorilla's theorem. Which is uh, so funny! What? That's very funny. Wow, that's incredible. That's very good. Mr. Stickler, you should be ashamed. It's not... But it seems. <laughs> so, are we to understand that you were silent not because you were guilty of murder, but because you lacked the courage to admit your theft of this girl's undergarments? <coughs> Perhaps you're not aware that my school's name was originally written I.V. What is what? that? 
have to I do anything. I stands for intelligent. V stands for valiant. C. Honestly, I don't. Your point. I'm not done. No, I'm a major <laughs> in the science department. And what does science teach if not curiosity? Okay, you are not getting out of these allegations, my guy. Yes, we of the IVU science department are valiantly curious. Oh, just say you're an insider. No insult challenge is on. too daunting, and what greater challenge is there than this mystery? Come on! You're talking about a girl's panties here! No, you do not understand. The mystery is the unknown, and the unknown is unacceptable. What are you talking yeah, about, this, my dude? This somehow made this whole... Like, this was bad already. This makes this... Whew. And, my friends, when it comes to mysteries, those panties are the promised land. Jesus Christ. Bro, I, first laid what? Eyes on them, I was compelled to investigate for science. She's 15. A full-sized car tire was only the first mystery those panties revealed. Trucy, what the fuck? A, a tire? Yes, I saw her do it. She pulled a tire out of those panties. But that's not all. First there was the tire, then a stew pot, and a frozen chicken. <laughs> oh, so he's interested because in of the magic part, not because uh -huh, they're panties. Yeah, sure. ah. it's, 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 see, it's fine. No, it's fine. See, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not because he's a pervert. One mystery after another. It was... It was magic. I hate you for that delivery. That was so good. <laughs> oh, I remember now. He's one of the regulars in the audience at the Wonder Bar. Huh? He's talking about my magic panties trick. God, fuck, I hate this. I just don't understand. A broom from a pair of Panties? It mocks the very laws of physics. A broom and a frozen chicken? Trucy! Whatever happened to doves and bunny rabbits? M Mr. Stickler, you stole this girl's panties to understand a magic trick? You say panties, but I say panties. <laughs> But they are so much more than that. This sucks. For me, they're an object for serious study. I wonder. Can we seek the death penalty? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Gavin, we can. <laughs> the pros I'd like to throw out the other case and start prosecuting <laughs> this one. <laughs> I don't think anyone actually cares about what happens in our practice. I think we can all agree this is much more interesting. There has been a recent rash of panty snatchings in the area. Were they all you? I... I am sorry, but I did it for science! Okay, but no, the other panties didn't have magic tricks. Each okay, time I spotted a pair, he's flapping in the breeze. Maybe this would be the pair. Even that night, as she chased me through the streets, I wept tears of joy. Perhaps this is the night that I will seize the truth that lies within those panties. Yet woe was I. But once again, the lacy heart pattern truth lit through my fingers and... Still, that leaves one thing unexplained. Ah, you refer to our witness's other lie, yes? The witness claimed he saw the crime from the south, but was in fact in the north. Indeed. Would anyone care to explain why he lied about that? Be my guest, Herr Forehead. Oh, come on. Don't make me do this now. Me? Uh, did I not hear you correctly? Did you not say, do not accuse the witness of murder? <laughs> why, then, did the witness lie about his location at the time of the shooting? Or have you no idea? Apollo? 
There's something about the way the diagram is arranged now. When you think about it, right near where Mr. Stickler was standing, isn't there... Well, Mr. Justice, what say you? Do you have any evidence to show why the witness lied about his location? Oh, because the, the this pair of panties was in the trash there? No. No, uh, look, look at the it's... map. I mean, the car accident happened there, but I don't think that's really anything he would want to lie about. I know when we looked, there was like a big... There was like a rock or something. But it wasn't a rock. It was a rock. It was a boulder! <laughs> oh. <laughs> um... Hmm... I mean, I don't really know what else it could be. Yeah, in my, in my head, it's it's it would be because there was a pair of panties yeah. thrown in that trash can. I don't see any other thing that's relevant to why he would lie. Because yeah. he didn't actually do it, so... Yeah, exactly. So it wouldn't be the knife, and it wouldn't be the gun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, sure. Go for it. Go for it. Take that! Um, okay, yeah. Maybe. The evidence that shows why he lied is this. Okay. Yeah. What? More panties? <laughs> How many panties are you carrying in your pocket, uh, forehead? These are the last! Honest! These were found in a trash can at the park. Looking at the diagram. see that the trash was right next to where the witness stood. Mr. Stickler, you didn't. Alas, I'm a failure as a scientist. I can't unravel the mysteries of the universe. I can't even unravel a pair of panties. So, these panties are your handiwork as well? That night, I had been chased, hounded into the Maractus Clinic garage. Weeping in frustration, I was forced to abandon my prize. Don't you see how I felt? Believe me, I'd rather not. I hid in the garage for a short while. Then, abandoning the panties, I made for home. To avoid the office where the girl works, I went towards the south entrance. When I saw them hanging there on the clothesline, when I saw them hanging there on a clothesline by a giant mansion, a giant pair of panties. Apparently he didn't know those bloomers belonged to the mob. I had them. Safe in my pocket, ready to take home! When I stumbled upon a murder. The murder of Dr. Maractus. I reported what I'd seen, but as I waited for the police to arrive, I, I got scared. What if they searched me? That's when you disposed of the bloomers. Yes, it was a severe blow to the progress of science! but one that had to be born. A fascinating, if disturbing, tale. <laughs> no, it's just disturbing, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this brings today's proceedings to a close. Technically, I don't think we really did anything to disprove that our client did it, but... No, yeah, this, this is one of those cases where our client name was barely even relevant. Yeah, he's, he's still the number one suspect by a landslide. Yeah. But now we don't have an eyewitness account. Yeah, that's true. And I'm more than pleased to dismiss the, this witness for the remainder of the trial. Uh, one last thing, if I might. Yes, Prosecutor Gavin? 
regardless of where we ended today, some vital points were made. Oh. <laughs> <Da -da 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 -da. laughs> uh, namely, that the defendant, Waki Kitaki, was at the scene of the crime. And he was pointing a weapon at the victim. Uh, one more thing. Also, in this picture, the lantern next to Palmer just <laughs> ah! it's, yeah, it looks like an emoji yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Waki Gitaki has a clear motive. That's true. Indeed. The defendant Waki Kitaki is still the prime suspect in this case. The only suspect, in fact, assuming there was no one else on the scene at the time. Yet, a mystery remains. The location of the wound in the victim's right temple has yet to be explained. The court requests further investigation from both the defense and prosecution. Yeah, baby. Hmm? No problem! Very well. This brings to trial for the day to a close. Court is adjourned. Hey, we don't even get a post uh, trial scene. Wow. Wow, look at that. But folks, that's going to do it for another Ace Attorney with an actual lawyer again. If you like this, follow us on twitch.tv slash say that a team. Like the video, comment down below. We'd really appreciate that. And if you can, support us on patreon.com slash save the team. We'd really, really appreciate it. But until next time, stick around for art because court is adjourned. Uh, Mickey with, is clowning on Colleen Ballinger still funny? Yes. <laughs> yes. <that's very> good. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Emma Sky, during the summer, I needed for an entire month just to finish this project. Then I waited for the perfect oh. moment. Now is that moment. He's five foot seven. He's a darling. He's he made my family deeply question my sanity. Drum roll. Introducing Mr. Hat as a plushie. Is he yeah. really five foot seven? Five foot. That's a huge Emma, plush. Emma, if this is real, can you put it? Get another picture yeah, of him we need, next we need to for something. Scale. Emma Sky with size comparisons as requested by Zach. I have no idea how tall Inosuke is. It's 3 a.m. right now, and I don't want to get out of bed to check. Hey, that's totally fine. Yeah, I mean, he's he's pretty yeah. big. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can tell. I mean, you can tell just from the chair that he is so yeah. big. That's oh. a big. <laughs> that's so much. I know. That's a lot of yarn too. That's incredible. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god. Mocha, with after months of not having anything for our stream, I offer you the Ryu cat hum. <laughs> huh? That's so good. Huh? <laughs> uh, Yen, with I can't think of a caption. Thanks, and it, uh, thanks for always voicing our art. Fine, take the case. I have to sort out these bills. Oh, do yourself a favor. Never get involved with opposing counsel. Of course not, uh, Edgewell. I would never do something so cringe. But then it hit me, like a car hitting Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Kevin? I used to be inspected by the ladies, but this is the first time I felt this way with a man. I'm not inspecting you! I'm only here to inspect crime scenes! The only men I'm inspecting are criminals! He is inspecting men, though. Oh my god! <laughs> Shut up, Juicy! I'm going to the crime scene! It's time for justice! Do the other one, too! I'm Apollo Justice, and I'm fine! He's the sexiest man alive. <laughs> I love it. Flustered Apollo. <laughs> and? Fraulein Detective, cancel all of my concerts. There's an adorable attorney who needs my attention. You already canceled those this morning when you took the case. Wonderful. Oh, an excellent assistant. I'm not your assistant, you glittery ass. Stop calling me. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, Alamac with, hey there, I didn't get to do much this week because I have too much work, but a few weeks ago I went to the beach and drew a little phoenix and a cute Apollo Aww, in the sand. It was a great day. That's so cool. Yeah, these are adorable. This is, the this is I think, the first sand art. <laughs> yeah. It might, yeah. yeah. I yeah. think it is. All right. You, Congratulations you... for the first ever sand art. Uh-huh. This is this is your, uh, your, your, uh, you're literally 
placing your stake in the sand, Alamac. Uh, yeah, you're making <laughs> history today. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is our ad. I love this. A Reaper with, after Zach pointed out the transcoding of Walkie, two jokes entered my mind and they wouldn't leave, so I had to draw them. <laughs> Be trans, throw hands! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love this. And, uh... <laughs> the fucking... Walkie, Hats- sweetie, what the fuck are you wearing? The Hatsune Miku binder meme. Oh my god. Um, in manga with no little guys for this week, but I do have an animatic to share. I haven't done anything like this in a while, but I thought I'd give it another go with a bit from 4-1 that lives in my head rent-free. Lamau, bone apple teeth. One, two, three. The plan was simple. Elegant, really. Oh. You see, we set up a trap of sorts. I was to plant a card in Wright's pocket beforehand. And then deal five aces during one of their games. When their hands were revealed, Smith would call him out and search Wright. He would then pull out the planted card, and the trap would snap shut. And then he would give him a big, nice hug. Is that a card in your pocket? Oh, no, sir, that's my dick. (laughs) (laughs) No, I am just very happy. (laughs) Ow! Your dick gave me a paper cut. (laughs) What? What? Uh... (laughs) Yo, this is incredible! Yeah, that was awesome. Hey, Mango, that's so good. The lip flaps were so clean. Yeah, seriously. The expressions were so good. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, Pridge, stay in the line. Yeah. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> that, that is what you did. You were like, wit. <clears throat> Yeah. Had <laughs> to make sure I was doing the line right. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, you, you nailed the delivery. Also, I love the, the little so like good. loading screen, lo- loading wheel you drew in front of Bridge. Uh-huh. <laughs> Spaced with murder of Sonic slash Phoenix Wright when your partner keeps searching the trash featuring Mia and Lana dressed as Rouge and Blaze. Yeah, that's so oh, good. That's cool. That's so good. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. <laughs> And oh my god, it's the truce is the Tails hates it sprite. Yes! That's so good! <laughs> That's adorable. I love it. Hell yeah, space. June, with I'm back with more gag designs. Unless I'm completely, completely forgetting someone, I've run out of characters to do. For this, so for the last time, here's firstly Mia, who's giving so much trouble. Oh my gosh. And then Athena, even though we won't meet her for a while still. Uh, I went a bit more steampunky with her design rather than staying low to the actual historical clothing, but I thought it fit her vibe much better. Oh no, absolutely. Uh, yeah. 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 Very I cool. love this. I love this, Mia. I like them both. Mm-hmm. They're both really good. And then, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, definitely with her having uh, a gadget, gadget, w- widget, widget, widget. Uh, definitely little robo choice pal. Was, was really smart. Hell yeah. King Kieran with finally finished my design for Apollo Justice as Common Rider Dragonfly. Base is designed mostly off of Common Rider Zero One Zero Ones, but added some different elements in like the visor wrapping around the head that might like an actual dragonfly. Apollo transforms into the Sunrise Driver from which from the from which the transformation sequence is based on one of the intros for the Ace Attorney anime. As a bonus, I have a design I'm working on for Clavier Gavin, whose suit I'm basing on Scorpion, mostly because of the drill hair. But it's not finalized yet. Yeah, no, this is super yeah. cool. And I, I like how you gave the the hen, the transformation sequence. Uh-huh. He uh-huh. spins it, uh-huh. chain attaches, and then pen It's so good. Yeah, yeah, break the chain with a pose. Yeah, Fuck yeah. yeah. That's awesome. This that's, is so that's good. Cool. Uh, and Blair with a Drew Kristoff last week, so he was Clavier. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that pretty Very, boy. very cool. Again, I love I love your use of like throwing in other colors on top. Uh really like the blue in the hair is really sick hell yeah blair uh we've got another matthew lillard's plus meerkat <laughs> equals west joke Sugar, <laughs> and everything nice these were the ingredients chosen to create the perfect little girl. but professor utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction chemical x you fucking weave <laughs> <laughs> Thus, the Powerpuff Girls That's were born. So good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I was so I was like it built up to that joke, and I was like, "All right, this has got to hit. This has got to hit. What's it going <laughs> to be?" Really, really good. Being a fucking yeah, weed was great. Weed. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Alea with Hugh Vember, <laughs> Orple. See, see, those are some designs I've worked on, and I'm proud of. Aside from maybe irises, which is kind of basic. 
No, these are super good. Whoa. Yeah. I love the use of like Maya's like the little crystal side bangs into crystals. Yeah. And the, cool. the Von Karma is insanely good. Yeah, these are all great. Tiefling Von Karma. Hell yeah. Ween with the piece I was really proud of for last year's Huevember. I tried to get a cool <laughs> mysterious vibe. Yo, yeah. Ooh, this I is love really the Huey in this one. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, the background for this is way less distracting than the very maximalist uh, <laughs> uh -huh. design we actually get in-game for his perceived effect. Hell yeah, this is awesome, Wee. And Chrono uh -oh. Wizard was here some sketches that I was able to finish. Game <laughs> facts, very good. I'm surprised nobody's made that joke yet. That's incredible. Um, uh, an Emma meme. And I think that's a SpongeBob joke, Chrono Wizard. That's a SpongeBob joke, right? Yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Uh, I think so. It's a pick from the first time we met. Look at you, so young and happy. Where do the years go? <laughs> Where do the years go? <laughs> Uh, Alita chose the thug life. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Tiala, you can't tie the knot. I can't tie the knot, but I can tie your... Your what? Thug life. Your thug life? <laughs> yeah, your thug life. <laughs> and... I wanted to draw Emma as my, fa as my favorite polka professor girl, Sonia. Yeah! Is she, is she the one from Sword and Shield? Yeah, yeah, the one from Sword and Shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the little electro mm -hmm. corgi. Uh, this 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 drawing is incredible. This drawing is really, really good, though. I love the pose and everything. Yeah, yeah. 